Our luminary, Fran Davin, uh, she's a beacon of light in the community. She has been an advocate, for example, as a commissioner and is now serving the community on many boards. And her selfless work has definitely shown us what a luminary is. I was born in July of 1933 uh, in a town called Hingham, Massachusetts, right on the edge of Boston Harbor. I come from a family of three girls. I was the youngest of the three. Kind of a regular, normal childhood, I would say. Beautiful town, quiet, safe. My mother was a typical housewife of that era. My dad was in the shipbuilding business. And in fact, I hardly saw him during the war years. I graduated in a group of 75 kids. So there was a lot of individual attention. I met my husband when I was a 10-year-old in pigtails. He was in the class that my older sister was in. And much to my parents' consternation, I announced I was getting married and we were gonna go to California. We moved to Tampa in 1970. Because of Fran's earlier experiences in the state of California, she knew the perils of unplanned growth. As I look at her career, I think one of her lasting legacies was the admonition, the warning, we have got to plan for this growth. So Fran got elected to the Hillsborough County Commission in 1974, just two years after Betty Castor, and she was Betty's campaign manager, and so that ushered in a whole new era of politics for Hillsborough County. In the 60s and in the early 70s, it was not the norm for women to be in politics. I came here in 70. There were three women in office. Uh, four years later, there were 14 of us. So that was an effort that really, and it was time. Fran ushered in um, an era of a new kind of politics for Hillsborough County. You know, a politics that represented intelligence and integrity, transparency, concern for the environment, and really looking at our community and how we stacked up to other like communities and what kind of community did we want to be. It was a period where you could make a lot of changes for the better, and um, we did. She was a real leader. Uh, on the commission. She was always interested in Tampa General Hospital and in uh, health care. Fran Davin was also very interested in land use and planning. This was a time when, really similar to today, when there was just great growth in Hillsborough County. First, I think you have to identify Fran as a real environmentalist who cared very much about the health of Tampa Bay, really brought an environmental lens to rezonings, and really brought an environmental lens to growth management. Hillsborough County then was a much smaller place, far less population, certainly far less developed, but you could already see the signs of what had happened in California just coming east. And that's really what spurred me. When it came towards the end of her tenure on the commission, she was a real advocate for planned growth along the I-75 corridor. When she was out of office, she became a political consultant. One of the legacies that I think Fran is most proud of is her mentee, Pam Arroyo. I don't think I would have ever been very successful in politics without her help, and that's not hyperbole. When I first ran for the county commission, I was only 25 years old, and Fran was my campaign manager. I would never have won that first seat without her guidance. But you know what? She made sure that not only that we ran a good campaign, but that I was prepared to be a good public official. The mayor would have a meeting once a week where all the department heads would sit around the table and talk about what the issues were. And Fran was always right near the mayor, as was I, because I was a city attorney. And she was quite wise in her advice. Uh, amazing insight into people, great judgment about human nature. She's had a great career uh, in public policy along the way. She was also a mother and a wife. She balanced her 
career in public service uh, with her family and did so well. Bill was an extraordinary man. He just backed me for whatever I wanted to do. Great husband, great dad, and a good friend. We had a lot of good times together. McDonald Training Center is built on the philosophy that every person should have a right to choose their own life. And frequently, people who are developmentally disabled don't have the means to choose their own life path. There's something very compelling about the education of people who are developmentally disabled. People come and they have no training, they have sometimes little if any education. So you see somebody come in there and all of a sudden there's guidance for them that wasn't there before and they, they blossom. You know, maybe when I really think about it, what she gives other people is uh, a, a belief in themselves where sometimes they might not believe in themselves so much. And she gets them to see that they ought to believe in themselves. They ought to have confidence in themselves. And that's a real gift. Perhaps I would overstate it, but I don't think so. I think the community has a commitment to honesty, honest government, fair government because of Fran. I think she's had an indelible imprint on Tampa and Hillsborough County. Participation in your community is critical to a community being a healthy, rewarding place to live. Uh, the more people that are involved in civic life, uh, the better the community is going to be.